Germany rocks. <laughs> Germany rocks. I found Justin Bieber's monkey last night. You always <laughs> I did every night. It is similar. Uh, we changed. It's a very good question. Drei Holz. Sechs Niemals auf Deutsch. Uh, ja, uh, das erste Mal, uh, erste Mal auf für die Kinder. Ja, uh, erste Mal deutsche Kinder auf Englisch. Do you have your own family, wife, girlfriend, kids? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> All at once. Um, yes, wives and kids. I have, I have three kids, uh, 25, 16 and 12. And uh, Rod has a couple. Try, uh, two boys, uh, I'm in Svonsvig and uh, 19. I have a son, he's 22. He's a man now. Do your children also make music? Yeah, all the kids play music. Yeah. yeah. Eric's especially, your daughter, you know, I think. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. My son just, put, just, just played his first gig last mm -hmm. week. Really? Yeah. Was he playing guitar? He played guitar and sang. Did he really? Yeah, he got What did he sing? He sang, um... A Justin Bieber song. Justin Bieber? Uh, yeah, I saw my Justin Bieber. I would. Baby, I would. Baby, I would. Baby, I would. Baby, I would. I would. I found Justin Bieber's monkey last night. You always <laughs> I did. Every night. Besides having the opportunity to interview the founding members of the Hooters at the Substage Karlsruhe, we were also able to be there for the soundtrack of the band. The soundtrack was a very special experience for us, as we could watch the musicians taking it in turns to tune and adjust their instruments. The Hooters were founded in 1980 by the singers Eric Bazilian and Rob Hyman. At the same time they were joined by the guitarist John Lilly as well as the drummer David Usikanen. The band name comes from the Hohner music instrument, Melodica. Its sound is known as the Hooter. The Hooters had their biggest commercial success in the 1980s. Songs like All You Zombies and We Dance, Johnny B, Satellite and the cover song 500 Miles climbed the charts all over the world. In the middle of the sound check, there was a big surprise for us. Drummer David Jusikinen not only gave our two girls Liz and Lucy his drumsticks, but he also gave them the hand-signed drumhead of his snare. Okay. When did you realize that being really big stars was coming reality? Still waiting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, we played uh, the Live Aid concert. Does anybody know Live Aid? It's a big concert mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. Live right? Aid, yeah. That was where we kind of yeah. maybe became yeah. stars. But we don't feel like that. Yeah. With, you know, we're musicians, really not really rock stars. Yeah. I guess to other yeah. people, they are. we are, right? You still have to practice every day? Yes. Uh, well, yeah, we do. Um, what we do for the shows on tour, we do a rehearsal and a sound check. Um, at, at when we can, and sometimes it's not always possible, but if we can do a sound check, even though we know the songs 
for us and for the crew. Every venue is different. Every day is different. So we, yeah, we do prepare. We practice it and play every day. The Hooters take very special care during the sound check that every instrument is neither too loud nor too quiet. They want the concert to sound just right. I'm alive. I'm alive. It's a beautiful day. Is your set list always the same or similar? It is similar. Uh, we change. These are very good questions, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, we change. Um, we usually get a basic set together for each tour, and, and then, but each night is a bit different, and uh, and the performances are always different. So even if we do the same set list. We try to make it feel different every night. Do you write all of your songs on your own? We write most of them, and then we also do other versions of cover songs. You know, that's how we start. Every band starts by learning other other songs um, from other groups, usually, and then we write most of them. But sometimes, even during the show, Eric picks up the mandolin and starts playing. Uh, Justin Bieber? I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Until the band was successful, yeah. then it was very good. Yeah. But in the beginning, uh, not so happy. You get, what are you, nuts? <laughs> you know, like, what crazy. are you thinking? Crazy. You know, when you do that, because yeah. it's very... Uh, but, like Rob said, when you have a little success, and you, and you make, a, you know, I guess with success you make a little bit of money, and, the, and it becomes a job, and uh, the, the reality is it's not a bad choice. It's, once they see that we can support ourselves from music, yeah. they it, they breathe a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still, it can be difficult to be a musician. You know, as much fun as you have performing, to just keep the performing thing going on can be difficult sometimes. Thank goodness the Hooters did not let themselves be impressed by the police or a few misunderstanding neighbors and carried on doing music. So even nowadays they still inspire their large fan base with their positive and folkloric rock songs. The difference between the German fans and other countries? 
Germany rocks. <laughs> Germany rocks, man. You, I'm telling you, there is no audience um, like a German audience. You, you know, we go to a lot of countries, and they're and they're all great. But you, you know, we, you know, like I, I've heard it from every one in the band. I can't wait to get back to Germany. Mit a kúlú? <laughs> Minden púlút vehem szó. Minden púlút vehem szó. Minden púlút vehem szó. <laughs> English. Because my English is not that great, and uh, uh, my Finnish isn't very good, so I, you know, I'm a, I'm a man without a language. And how do your uh, band colleagues uh, spell uh, your um, uh, name? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. not better in America, but at that time where I grew up, you know, when you, you would, my, my, I was horrified when I went to school, and there were seven class, seven different classes, seven different teachers had to say my name, and I, I hated being singled out. I hated it, and then you know, Aussie Kenan, Aussie Kenan, who's Kenan? I'm sick of him. It was just, you know. <laughs> we call him Dave. Different places. countries. Different places, yeah. All You Zombies um, was uh, number one in Australia, and We Danced was our biggest, our real breakthrough in the yeah, United okay. States. Johnny B in Germany, 500 miles in Sweden and Scandinavia. Yeah. But everyone knows All You Zombies, even though it was never a real hit. All You Zombies hide your face. Did you break a lot of things into pieces, or did your parents buy you a drum set? <laughs> <laughs> you know, interesting enough, I wanted to play the guitar. I, I, I got pretty big hands, and um, when I was, but when I was a kid, I, I, I don't, I don't know if it was because of my, like, I have a, I have a theory that that when I was a bit of a. I don't know what I'm called troublemaker, but I, 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 I when, when, it, when my mom brought me to the school of music boy. there, uh, the teacher said, I think he should play the drums. And he said, his hands are too small, it'd be hard, and I was pretty young. And then what happened was my neighbor, uh, it moved into my neighborhood, he had a guitar, and he had a drum. And uh, I could play immediately behind the drums, I went, um, right away, I could play that. And he said, well, you're the drummer. Yeah. On this year's tour, there were also some very special moments for the band. Somebody last night. Oh, uh, yeah. Met I got a kids. video I made last night on the mm -hmm. tour bus. And Fred and I were standing out front waiting to leave. And these teenagers came up. <clears throat> They were like 16, 17, 18 years old. <clears throat> and they said, who are you, what band are you? We said, the Hooters. And they were like, huh? And then I started going, Johnny B, how much? And they all sang it, and I videotaped them. They were all singing it, and they knew it. Mm -hmm. And they sang All You Zombies, and they mm -hmm. sang Time After Time. You mm -hmm. know, they, yeah. so they put it together. It was, yeah. it was kind of interesting. And this 
I wish we knew. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the hardest part is 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 getting the ideas. You know, you, that's create creativity. So, mm -hmm. it, whether and it's not just music. It's um, writing, uh, painting, and making a sculpture. It's just one day you just have an idea. I think we we get ideas from other music originally. You know, we listen to other bands and we play those songs and then we. You know, one day we say, let's write some songs. We're still learning that. I mean, there's always another song to, to write, so the ideas come when they come, and sometimes it's, it's not always. Ideas are like, they're like fireflies. Um, if you see them, you, you have to be careful to catch them, because if you catch them too hard, you kill them. So you have to be very careful and be gentle with them. What is the most important skill to be uh, in a band for such a long time? Is it uh, uh, tolerance or is it acceptance? Tolerance or? was the first word that came into my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you really do because of you know very strong personalities living very closely together. Now, we've been doing this for a very long time and I, we we get along really well. What is your favorite dish here in Germany? Spargel. Spargel. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Nice spargel. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I mean, the armrest is the bratwurst is like amazing. So Green you have to come in spring to Germany. No, we missed yeah. it this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Very sad. Good Wiener schnitzel. Yeah. And you know, you can get a great fruit de mare here in Germany. Do you want to learn some important German words? Yes. Like, um, little matchbox. Streichholzschächtelchen. Streichholz. Sechstelchen. 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 Yeah, very close. Streichholz, Sechstelchen. That's a mean one. Yes, it is. Is it? Streichholz. Sechstelchen. Sechstelchen. Ein Studentenstülpenstiefel stülpt über einen Spitzenstein. Oh.